For more on John Horgan's life and legacy here in BC, let's bring in Stuart Prest, political scientist and lecturer at UBC. Uh, Stuart, John Horgan did not spend much time, if any, speaking publicly about his own legacy. How do you think he should be remembered by British Columbians today? Well, it's a, it's a good question, and I think we heard uh, off the top there a number of the, the themes that are going to resonate uh, in future years. He was a, a bridge builder, someone who uh, helped move the NDP towards the center of, of the political spectrum, and, and somebody who a lot of British Columbians came to identify with, someone that they felt really was authentic in the role of, of uh, opposition leader and then as uh, as premier and someone that they were willing to give the benefit of the doubt to, someone that they ultimately could trust in, in the office of premier. And the NDP had a tremendous amount of support under Horgan. Why do you think his leadership resonated so well with so many British Columbians? Well, Mr. Horgan was able to occupy a space that I think was different than a, a typical uh, politician. He wasn't strongly uh, ideological. He was, uh, uh, one quip had it, the, the rightmost member of the NDP caucus, somebody who, who tilted towards the center and and was able for to speak to issues that were, were different than others perhaps within the caucus. He could speak to uh, island issues as, as someone representing Vancouver Island to folks in, in the mainland. He could uh, speak to, to rural issues, to urban centers. Uh, so that, that sense of being able to, to see different perspectives and, and not just focus on, on one set of ideals, I think really stood him in good stead. And what do you think about his communication style was kind of unique to his persona? Absolutely. He was uh, somebody who, uh, for better and for worse, could, could speak off the cuff and speak his mind. And uh, quite often, I think that helped endear voters to him. It, it gave that, that sense that he really was saying what he thought about issues. Occasionally, he got him into to hot water when he uh, lost his temper or said something that was intemperate. But but that authenticity then uh, was, was one of his saving graces as well. I think the fact that when he made a mistake, he was quick to own up to it and, and point to a different direction. And, and he really seem to learn from from those mistakes. I think all that helped build this legacy of, of a politician that people uh, saw themselves in and, and, and w felt they could trust. All right, Stuart Press, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you.